Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning rods. Sportsman Gun Centre have sent me the Tipton Deluxe Carbon Fibre Rod, which you can see here. Now this is carbon fibre, so that you can sort of take a middle ground in the materials argument over cleaning rods, because cleaning rods are available in steel with plastic coating, or stainless steel with no coating. Now of course, an uncoated rod cannot possibly pick up abrasive compounds to grind up and down the bore and damage your rifling. The stainless steel has to intrinsically have to be hard because that's all part of the stiffness in the material. And given the calibre of your rifle, really, you want the rifle rod to be as large as possible within it to be as stiff as possible so that it bows less when you're actually cleaning and pushing the rod, which is then, of course, bending and rubbing along the side walls of your barrel. Polymer coated rods are great because they won't fundamentally damage the rifling, but they can pick up abrasive materials and you need to make sure they're clean when you use them and that abrasive material, if it is on the rod, will then grind up and down like an abrasive bore polishing paste. The polymer rods also, over time, will tend to rip and tear a little bit and you will start to get defects in the material of the rod itself. So they do wear out over time. The Tipton Deluxe rod is carbon fibre, so it's intrinsically stiff, it cannot bend, it will only snap but that's, of course, serious amounts of bending to make it snap. In the meantime, because of the elastic limit of the material, it won't plastically bend and you won't end up with a rod that's bowed going up and down the barrel. On this end, we've got a nice large polymer handle so you get a good grip on it and it's got twin bearings in there so that it doesn't misalign as the rod moves as you're going up and down the bore. And that, of course, allows the rod to twist because the jag will be a tight fit in the rifling. There's an aluminium end on it with a hanging point here and Tipton do actually say in their advertising that if you do get a patch stuck you can gently tap through and that will give you a hard point for the hammer to hit against. It's not something you want to be doing regularly, the patch wants to be a good firm fit but not overly tight. Available lengths are 12, 26, 36, 40, 44 and 50 inches and they're available in various calibre sets too. So you can go from a 17 calibre all the way up to a 45 calibre in different rods. The 17 calibre has a 5x40 thread so it can be used for 17 or 20 cal. The intermediate ones like this one which is the 25 to 27 calibre, um, that uses an 8x32 thread which is standardised across the industry for all sorts of jags and brushes. I've been using this for cleaning all the FX barrels. I've got four FX barrels. I've got 2.2, 2.5, 30 and 35 calibre. And although air guns perhaps don't make as much debris as, as live centerfire or rimfire cartridges, it's well worth giving barrels a very good clean before you ever start using them. Because you can get residual polishing and honing compounds from the actual manufacturing process itself, as well as oils and lubricants. The smaller 17 calibre version uses a 5x40 thread for the very small 17 and 20 cal barrels and the larger ones use 832 threads for standardised jags, brushes etc, things like that you know, for the cleaning process. The large ones and you can also get shotguns which use a completely different thread as well. This has a female thread so you need jags with the male thread and they will then fit appropriately. Some different manufacturers oppose these and you'll find the rod has the male thread and the jag itself has the female thread. As you can see here, this is my 30 cal patch, so I'll just pop this on the spear point jag I'm using, and that will insert into and pass down the bore. It's firm, but it's not overly aggressive, and that will of course pop out the end, you won't get damage to your crown, and there's your patch when it's finished cleaning the barrel. So, to sum up, the tips and rod it's not a magic solution to anything, but it does offer various advantages. So, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment. I'd love to hear your opinions on cleaning rods and what you do or don't want to do with them, what items and features you look for them to do. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you're aware of the new videos we make every week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.